Hey, I'm Alan Pan, and I'm here in front of the YouTube space in Culver City. Let's see if we can get a shot of that there. So it turns out I live like two miles away from here, and I've actually just been accepted to take some classes so I can make better YouTube videos. Which is awesome, because this place is basically a giant film studio just for YouTubers. I just want to celebrate hitting 100k subscribers thanks to each and every one of you. Literally couldn't have done it without you guys. Now I know the usual celebration for my kind of YouTube channel is like fire or, or explosions, right? Uh, I got nothing. Honestly, I didn't think I'd hit 100k this fast, so I don't have anything planned. Um, what I thought would be really cool though would be to show you guys some of the work I'm most proud of. Out of all the cool things I've done, I don't think anything beats uh, last summer I got to work with the Brando Meadows Elementary School. Uh, I got to work with a classroom of blind and visually impaired kids to teach them about electricity. With great power comes great responsibility. Let's see if we can build the circuit that's on the circuit diagram, that's on the raised graphic. Students and teachers in a classroom inspect circuit blocks. Circuit blocks are a classic learning aid, but they're just square blocks and you have to connect them with alligator clips. Small hands fumble with clips. Those can be tricky sometimes. These new circuit blocks aren't just squares, they're shaped like they're actual electronic symbols. Blocks compared with graphics. So when used with tactile graphics, they're accessible to visually impaired students. And kids in general have trouble with alligator clips, just because of strength and motor skills, but these circuit blocks use magnets to connect to wires easily. A parallel circuit with siren and motor is quickly built with blocks and switched on and off. A girl taps the table to show her partner where the switch is. Groups of students connect wires and circuit blocks to create various circuits. What I liked about it is that you, you could um, a boy lowers a wire. It attracts and sticks to a circuit block. Just like an electrical engineer, we're going to have actual electrical components that we're going to be putting together to make a circuit that we can use our bodies to complete that circuit. A girl gasps silently. Soldering and breadboarding can be tough to teach in a classroom environment. I want to see if I could design a more accessible kit with Conductac that simplifies circuit construction. So this circuit stick has raised symbols and holes. You put Conductec in the holes and then you can plug components into the board above the symbols and build a circuit. A small board of wood with a raised circuit diagram and holes on its surface is quickly populated with electronic components. The circuit stick beeps when you touch both ends and complete the circuit with your body. Students assembling their own circuit blocks. The circuit stick also works if you hold hands and complete a circuit with other people. Two boys with a circuit stick hold hands to form a circuit. Two boys hold each end of a circuit stick and clap their free hands together. Thanks for watching. He needs to hold the circuit and high five each other. High five, high five. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.